Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back and watching. I appreciate it. I hope you're doing well, staying safe, taking care of yourselves, all those kind of things. And if you're new here, my name is Jim. It's great to meet you. I make tutorial videos here every week showing you how I edit my photos using various software products. Today I'm, I'm walking through On One Photo Raw 2021. It just came out. I'll put a link down below in case you'd like to check that out. If you do purchase, that is an affiliate link. It gives me a small commission if you purchase something. And if not, that's cool too. It's a product that I've used a little bit in the past, the previous versions, but I never really got into and never really spent a lot of time. I just got busy with other things. But for various reasons, I'm looking at other products. The primary reason is I'm not super happy with Lightroom. I don't really like some things about it, and I've been looking around, so you've seen me do some videos about Photolab 4 by DxO, which I'll continue to do, and I'm gonna try to add in some videos around Photo Raw 2021. I think it's an excellent product. It ticks a lot of boxes for me, and compared to Lightroom, I think it just gives you, not I think, it does give you a whole lot more power. Uh, it's a nice blend between what you can do in Lightroom and what you can do in Photoshop, all wrapped into one app. Let me jump into that. And here I am in a folder of images, and this is just something on my desktop, and it's just browsing these files. I'm in this demo files folder, which you can see on the left-hand side. Now, one of the things I like is that it is a file browser, because what happens is, uh, with Lightroom, I've got to import the photos into the catalog and build all the previews and do all that kind of stuff and then look at them. And I don't really want to do that. Um, I don't really ever want to do it, to be honest. But especially when I'm back from a shoot, I just kind of want to dump the photos on my desktop and then take a quick look at them to get excited. It's kind of like Christmas. You get to see what you got, right? So that's what I like to do. And On One does that for me. It allows me to just do a file browser. I just got back. Uh, let, let's see. I'm going to click on this miscellaneous new shots. And here's some stuff. These are just some random shots from around Austin from a couple of different outings recently. And again, I just came back from the outings. I dumped them into a folder on my desktop, and I just want to take a look and say, okay, well, that's pretty cool. I like that graffiti. I want to go do that. Or, you know, I like this little uh, shot of this taco stand with the neon, or I like this sunset, blah, blah, blah. Hey, that's a photo I want to go edit. So it gives you the ability to quickly browse and then go edit if you'd like to. I also just came back from a, uh, uh, a day trip, basically, out along the, the hill country here outside of Austin, and I was shooting some landscapes and things like that. And again, I dumped the photos on my desktop. I just want to take a look at them, and that's what I like about the browse feature. It allows me quick and easy access to go look at these photos and say, okay, I like that one. I'm going to go edit it. So I've closed that side panel, which you can easily do down here in the bottom left. There's just a little icon there to show uh, some of your drives and where your, where your photos are located. And by the way, you don't have to move them. They can just live where they are, and you can use the browser to go look at them. I'm going to go ahead and close that so you can just see the photos. And here's the other thing I like about On One, and that is you have all these capabilities on the right-hand side. So starting here, uh, it has information about your shots, um, it has metadata, and it has a keyword list. If I want to add all that kind of stuff to my photos, I can do that quick and easily. And then from a capability standpoint, you have the ability to do layers, you have panos, you have HDR, and you have focus stacking. It's really powerful stuff, my friends. I love all that. But what I'm going to do here in this video is actually just click on Edit and go into the Edit Module. Now, actually, hang on. I'm going to close the Presets menu, and I'm going to go back one because um, it went into this photo because that's the one that I had selected. But the photo I actually want to edit is this one. So I'm going to click that one and click Edit, and it'll take me into the Edit Panel. And here I have all kinds of capability. I basically have different tabs, Develop, Effects, Portrait AI, which is not going to come into play here, and local adjustments. Now, Portrait AI, they did some serious enhancements too. I did a video about that there. So take a look at that if you're interested in the portraits, because I will not be covering that in this video. But um, one of the new features is an enhancement to their retouching tools. So you up here on the top, you've got various tools that you can choose from. Starting from the right, you've got Clone and Stamp. Then you've got a Retouch Brush. Then you've got a perfect eraser and you've got a healing brush. So I'm going to click on healing brush. And what's new here is the ability to choose the source that you want to heal from. So I'm going to go ahead and paint over this rock that's here in the river. And you'll notice when I finish that it gives me this little green box and the red box. The green box is your source that you're basically um, copying from. And the red is uh, what you've erased over. So you can move this around until you find something that looks like a pretty good fit. And I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to click on that and say done. And so that's a nice new feature that's built into On One. Now, while I'm at it, I'm going to actually go back to the retouch tool. And I'm going to get up here. 
And I just want to erase some of these things because that tree branch is kind of annoying and it's in my way. I've also got a couple little spots here in the river that I want to remove. And so you can see as you click on them, it just removes those things for you automatically. I'm going to go ahead and get this one up here in the sky. And then lastly, I've got a spot and another branch sticking out over my photo. And I want to get rid of that. And it's now gone. So now I've got a kind of a clean photo, for lack of a better word. I'm going to go back to just the, the zoom and view tool. And there I am. Now I've got my base photo ready to go. And the other thing I like about On One is that they've set the develop module kind of on it, not kind of on its own tab. So you've got all these powerful capabilities. Maybe I want to add a little bit of contrast, pull down the highlights, pull up the shadows a bit. Whoops, not that much. Just to kind of edit uh, and balance the photo. Maybe take the structure down a little bit. Maybe cool it off a tad, get a, a little bit of vibrance. And I'm just kind of playing around. This isn't really a uh, full edit, maybe a tiny bit of saturation. Actually, maybe I'm going to add a little bit of temperature and actually make it a little bit warmer. Um, we're starting to get a little bit of fall color. We don't get a lot down here, but I'm liking what I got there. But I want to show you something you can do with one of the new tools. So now that I've got my base photo ready to go, this is where I'd go over to the effects tab. And that's the other thing I like is that you've got all your develop stuff on the, you know, for your basic corrections and that sort of thing on the uh, develop tab. And then on effects, you can get over here and add various filters to do some custom sort of refinement to how you want the photo to look. So I'm going to come in here and here's another thing that's really cool and that's replace color. This is a new thing in On One 2021, I think is really cool. So you basically have a target color. Um, and so what you do is you get the eyedropper and you, and you go in and you say, what I really want to do is take this yellowy orange kind of uh, color and click on that. And I want to change that. Now it's defaulting to this color change, but you can just click over here and you can come and make adjustments to that to make it any way you want. You can make it blue. You can do whatever you want. I just want to kind of bring up some of the orange because I really like that. And I want to accentuate that fall look. So I'm just kind of adjusting the opacity and the, uh, the intensity of that color. You can make it as intense or as tame as you want. I'm going to do something like that and I'm going to close that. And now I've got that applied. So let me show you the before. There it is, a lot more green and yellow and afterwards a lot more orangey, kind of warm. But it's a little too intense. So I'm going to take the opacity down because I'm not trying to overdo it and make it unreal. I'm going to take that down to, let's call it about 65. And here we go. So replace color took me from that a lot more green and some yellow to that, which is a lot more orange. I think still very realistic, but a nice pop of fall color to accentuate my photo. Okay, so at this point, I'm basically finished with my photo and I've got a nice edit. I'm happy with that. But the great thing about On One is that it now gives you the ability to come over here to the local adjustment tab and you click on that and that gives you the ability to further customize and apply local adjustments. Uh, wherever you would like in your photo based on different kind of masks. There's also now a color range mask in local adjustments, which gives you further ability to customize specific colors within that photo. So I'm not going to demo all of these things because honestly, there's just so much. I just kind of wanted to share some basic thoughts and some findings. So I won't share all of these things in this video because there's just not enough time to cover it all. But I just wanted to share some initial thoughts about what I'm excited about in On One Photo Raw 2021 and why I like it and why I'm considering it as an alternative to Lightroom for my workflow. Now there's a bunch of other products that I continue to use and I will continue to use those. I'm looking at something that gives me the ability to edit photos, but also maintain some browser capabilities for my uh, photos without having to go build a full catalog around them. So On One Photo Raw 2021 really helps me with that. I like what I can do with it. It gives me a lot of capabilities. And as I said, there's so many things that you can do. I haven't even gotten down here to where you can do resizing and printing and exporting and things like that. So lots of power, lots of capability, lots of fun, and lots of things that I could talk about in future videos, which I'll be coming back to. So. Um, I hope this gave you a good idea of kind of what you can do in On One. It's very um, high level and generic. I didn't dive into a lot of capabilities here simply because there's so much to talk about. But I'll be back with more videos and I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, let me know down below. I am kind of new to this tool. I've used On One 2019 and 2020, but I never really used them a whole lot. So I'm trying to get back into that and expand my um, capabilities and my knowledge about how it works because I get questions about it and people often ask me, hey, how does this compare to Luminar or whatever? And I'm trying to learn more so that I can help uh, people with those questions. So hopefully this helps. I appreciate you watching my friends. If you do have any questions, let me know, know down below and I'll see you soon with another video. You guys take care of yourselves and adios.